Welcome to Planet Microcap. I'm your host, Robert Kraft, and we're coming to you live at the Windy City Roundup in Chicago 2022. Joining me right now is Kobe Nagar. He's the co-founder and CEO of 374 Water. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is SCWO. Kobe, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? Hey, I'm, I'm doing great. It's really, really good to be here, you know, in the windy city of Chicago. And we're bringing a splash of water into this uh, great conference. There you go. You're bringing a splash of water. That's not rain. That's always nice. That's <laughs> so, so this is our actually our first time doing an interview together covering 374. So can you start us off with a quick overview of the company? Good. So 374 basically was founded uh, with, a, with a clear mission of uh, creating a better a better better planet how cliche does it does it sound but really uh, provide the much needed technology and solution for an industry that people ignore which is water and wastewater and what we have done is we took a very cool technology uh, and we adopt that into into that industry very good all right so let's get, get a little history you know when did the company start and how did you get to where you're currently at today so, uh, so company started, and this is one of the fascinating stories, is we actually started as a, as a research project in a university. So we started this at uh, Duke University uh, about a decade, ago, a decade ago. And, you know, for, for a lot of pe- people, you know, I, I tell them that we work really hard in the last 10 years to become an overnight success. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's the story. But we started at the university, and then uh, we got some support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Department of Defense, and created really unique technology that differentiates us from what people are doing in the, in, in the industry. And then in 2018, I spun off uh, that company outside of the university and created 374 Water. And now here you are in microcap land. Now, yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Um, all right, so let's talk about the technology a little bit. You mentioned that it, it's, there is some differentiation there. What would you say makes the, the, the technology unique and different compared to some of your peers? So, so what, what do we do differently is, again, harnessing uh, the power of water. Where we have a technology at the back, of, uh, the back of our company with the bombastic name of supercritical water oxidation, or SCWO, or SQO for short. And that, that bombastic you know, name really, really gets to a level of, of harnessing water uh, to take care of and treat waste and convert waste into reusable resource. So in our process, we take waste on one side and it can be the, the most simple like human waste, but also the most complex waste like plastic or pharmaceutical or PFAS, which is a big, a big story in the water industry and really turn it mineralize that in one step and create water, energy, and minerals at the back end. So materials and elements that society can use versus looking at waste as a liability. So we, we, we are harnessing that, uh, that phenomenon. Very good. So where's the company currently at in its development? Do we already have sales? Are we still doing pilot programs? You know, give, give us that overview. So, uh, so co- company is uh, is moved out of out of R and D. Uh, we fully commercialized the business, and we already sold uh, our unit to some of the major players in in the market. We already sold all the units that that we made, uh, but the future is very bright for us because the demands is demands is what's what's drive our business. Uh, there is much more demand for more clean, uh, clean solution that, uh, that enable us to treat wastes in, in this world um, and can create value for, for customers. And who are the company's targeted verticals at the outset here? So uh, that, that's, that's another unique feature for, for our companies. We are very feedstock agnostic. So we can treat, as I mentioned, the most simple but the most complex waste. So for, for us, we have six market verticals that we operate in. One, one of the big one is the municipality market. Think about all the human waste that uh, society is generating and we have a, a beneficial use uh, to, to treat that, uh, uh, that human waste, but also for industrial clients. So industrial waste, uh, oil and gas industry, ag waste, um, uh, and also 
um, uh, different different hazardous waste uh, that that are coming from the defense industry, and then later on the general waste management. So we have a, we have a solution that is uh, very broad, uh, and it can cater uh, those type of industries. Very good. So to close us out here today, from what you can tell us, what would you say then are some of the company's value catalysts for the rest of 2022 going into 2023? So I, I think the, the biggest catalyst, and, and this is where, where the world is, is a little bit changing. I think everybody start to get more and more awareness about problems that you have with water uh, quantities and water qualities. You know, one, one we joked before about, about the fish, you know, people are eating uh, seafood and you know one one number to remember right now in the world because our current technologies are, are very limited uh, people are eating about five grams of microplastic uh, uh, per, per every two weeks uh, and we want to solve that we want to eliminate and really treat uh, all of those synthetic materials that we put in our, in our environment so the biggest challenge from us is awareness. People, people tend to be more aware. And then regulation that is coming and really forcing um, um, utilities and industrial uh, customers to take better care of their waste. And we are coming in place and actually doing that uh, on site. We are very big about treating, treating waste at the source uh, and also reducing their cost uh, on end transportation. So that's, that's the biggest challenge for us. Very good. Well, with that, where can our audience go and find more information on 374 Water? Great. So, uh, yeah, I advise everybody to check our website, so 374.com. Uh, uh, we're pretty big on, on LinkedIn, um, and we love to interact with, with people. Very good. Well, Kobe, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I look forward to our next update. One, wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you for, for having me.